Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Chief Star Shaka. Uh, I'll be running you through the Guild Wars 2 beta event. Um, we're going to start from character creation, go through about half an hour of gameplay. I have actually just done a video of the Norman character playing through as a Guardian, but it was boring as hell, so we're going to start again and go for a Char character. Uh, let's go to next. It isn't necessarily anything against the Norn. Uh, it was the Guardian character is a team player, and at the beginning of the game, you're not in a team, and there's people running about that I don't know, so it's not really an effective class to show. Uh, I do apologise for the mic quality. Uh, there's hopefully get a better mic in the future, and I also have a cold at the moment, so my voice is a little bit off. But hopefully you'll be able to hear me and uh, enjoy the walkthrough of Guild Wars 2. Right, male character. I thought what we'd try out is the engineer, a uh, new class to Guild Wars, um, using turrets and so forth. Here's a quick look at the other classes. Elementalist, your classic mage. Uh, I have a human elementalist on the go at the moment. Uh, very interesting class. I don't normally like magic casters, but it's worth a go. Your classic warrior. Guardian, which I just mentioned, is all about uh, fighting but buffing your friends at the same time. Classic ranger. Necromancer, which I have actually done with the char. Really interesting. Uh, if any of you have watched Game of Thrones, the Black Shadow, which, uh, well, I can't actually ruin anything for you, but it's in Season 2, if anybody remembers the Black Shadow, uh, you can turn into that kind of look with a Necromancer, which is cool. Thief, another new class that I intend to give a go at some point. Um, almost like uh, your classic Rogue, um, but was previously handled by the Ranger. Uh, could be an interesting one because they've said it's one-on-one -on -one combat is what it's best at, so it's not one of those classes that needs a party to be effective. And you mesmer from the previous game, uh, cat creature in purple mode, just looks sick. Right, there we go. Now you've got all your customization here. Uh, I don't tend to play about with these too much. Just give it a quick go over. I did actually find the char fur thing quite interesting because it really does make your uh, character individualised. Uh, so you can change the colours as well, so there's quite a lot you can actually do with it. Let's go for that one. Change the fur. Bit really light. There we go. Um, yeah, let's go for the mohawk on the cat. Why not? For that, and you can play about the horns as well. Bit Diablo looking there. Uh, right, let's go for something like that. Face details for those of you that like to play about making it look absolutely perfect. I know a lot of people on the website do, not for me. Right, as I said, cats and purple, silly color. Let's get rid of that. Start off on a white background, go for Oh yeah, engineer, we want to sort of dark of robes, there we go. Yeah, this was purple. I think, well, he's not wearing any shoes. That does seem to affect legs, so I can have green legs if I want to, that's interesting. Oh, is that actually shoes covering? Oh yeah, no, there are boots there. Uh... Still, they're not going to be green. Right. Off we go to the next part. Now this is the bit where you uh, develop your character for the story. Guild Wars 2 is all about having a uh, character with a story and they're very insistent that you play about a little bit. So, for the engineer I'm getting asked what my uh, most useful tool is. Uh, right, let's use the universal multi-tool. Uh, looks like a screwdriver on the switch and follow me through. Uh, right, yeah, it's the same with every character. You can use Charm, Dignity, or Ferocity. Uh, let's go with Charm for my Engineer. Um, this is specifically Char question. Which part you are? Um, now, the Blood Legion's your Frontline Warriors. You've got your Ash Legion, which is your Subterfuge, and your Iron Legion, which is your War Machines. Just because I'm an Engineer, I don't necessarily have to be that. I could be a sneaky Engineer, which would it be? 
Um, you can pick a member of your warband who is named already for you to be a friend. So let's go for that one. They all have different descriptions here. I'm not going to waste time reading through them while you're waiting. Um, loyal soldier, source of shaman. Oh, let's go. let's go for a loyal soldier. And I'm just going to put in my name here. The character. Now I'm trying. I am a char. In this world of constant battle, I am the deadliest weapon of all. I respect no authority but the clenched fist. With engines of destruction, we have killed our gods. We reclaimed our homeland of Ascalon, and we planted victory banners on the graves of our enemies. Yet, if we waver, we could slip through our claws. Victory, at any cost. I live and die with secrets hide. I thrive where danger dwells. I'm a soldier in the service of the Ash Legion. I am the blade in the darkness. I've earned the respect of my comrades and forged alliances I can call on in times of need. Legion teaches stealth, patience, and deception. We fight where the Citadel commands, but only to aid the Ash Legion's cause. Today, the Black Citadel's combined army will assault the ghosts that plague this land. I've been assigned to reinforce the Bulwark. Let the Blood Legion charge blindly to the depths. Let the Iron Legion build their machines of war. You will find me in the shadows. This is my story. Right, every character gets a beautiful introduction like that, and all of them are worth watching. For those technologically minded, I thought I'd quickly go over this. Uh, this beta event has opened up all the graphical options. Everything's running on maximum with FXAA support for the anti aliasing. Uh, the machine I'm running on is using an i7 3.6 uh, quad core processor and the latest 690 GTX NVIDIA graphics card. All right, so starting area, a little bit jerky at the beginning. Um, also, the recording device I've got is slowing down. The effects quite a bit. If I try and record at 60 frames a second, I'm afraid that the file will become a huge, far too quick beat. Then everything will take forever, so 30 frames a second it's got to be. Right. 